Look what I wanted. Oh, oh boy, look at that. that. Look what I wanted. 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 Look so 25 years later and uh, I'm here to actually see a full size F40 uh, and properly look round it because when I were a kid they were just contained on motor shows and, and things like that so it was just impossible to get near them and uh, I might actually, if weather stays nice, be able to have a ride. Oh, look at it. Oh. Still just looks so good. It's just, it's just not aged. And that, that was on my bedroom wall, like all over it, not just one poster, but about four or five different Ferrari F40 posters. And I had that model. That did some serious miles, that model. Probably more than this. Right, so we're gonna get the owner to move it outside and then we can uh, get some natural light on it and can uh, have a proper look at it. <laughs> Looks amazing. That big wing, it just... Just got so much presence. My love for Ferrari started when I was about five or six years old when my auntie bought me a, a model of a Ferrari Testarossa in white, about 124 scale, I think it was the Miami Vice car, and something just snapped inside me from that point. I just completely became obsessed with Ferraris. Um, a few years later then I got a model of the F40 and, and from then on, you know, that, that just became my ultimate dream car. And, you know, it still is today because the there's no other car like it and and throughout my entire childhood i just built up a massive collection of ferrari memorabilia uh, i just became a massive ferrari geek basically i was the easiest child to buy for you just had to buy me something with a ferrari badge on it and, and i'd love it because it was ferrari there's, there's been some stunning ferraris since and I, I love all ferraris there's not one that i dislike i mean that enzo it's it's an amazing car but <laughs> Just look at an F40, it's got such a stupid big wing on it. It's, um, there's just something about that car that, that I think because it was on my bedroom wall all, the, all them years, you know, even when I was a teenager, the poster stayed. Uh, it's quite sad really, but um, I just love that car. And there was always this aspiration to at some point, I mean, even just sit in one, uh, but you know, have a ride in one or something like that. So today's really, really special. In my mid-twenties, I found myself in a position where I could move up the property ladder or I could buy a Ferrari. And so I bought myself a 355 and uh, that was probably one of the best days of my life. Um, and it was just, it, it was fantastic just to be able to actually own a real Ferrari that I could drive. Uh, that, that was the first time that I got to drive a Ferrari when, when I went to actually buy it. Um, but obviously, it's not an F40, but I mean, these things now, they're worth a ridiculous figure. You know, even, you don't have to be just rich. You've got to be super rich to have an F40. Things like changing the fuel tanks at about 10 or 15 grand, something ridiculous. You know, I would never be able to afford to run it, even if someone gave me an F40. Earlier on this year, I, uh, I was lucky enough to go on a supercar driver visit to the factory, the Ferrari factory in Maranello, um, and that was like a pilgrimage for me. Just, just to arrive there and actually go through the gates, just the, the archway with the, with the Ferrari sign above it. I'd, I'd seen it on TV so many times and it was just one of them magical places. And I, I was just constantly excited while I was there. It was unbelievable just to be in the place where Enzo first started. I've actually still got the model that I got when I was eight. And uh, I used to just love playing with this thing. This was like my, my pride possession. And uh, yeah, I used to like opening the, the back bit up and 
just doing that and like looking at engine we're just you're fantastic but um could could we do it with that of course we can. Yeah? yeah oh nice oh. don't know if it's anything like the model i'm guessing that comes up oh. it's quite accurate That's heavier than I thought. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. <laughs> it's a bit more difficult than 118 scale. Wow. Actually, in the engine bay of an F40. Oh, I just love all the details, like just seeing that. Just the Ferrari badge and these massive intercoolers. She used to look. If, if you could show me an engine, you'd just see them and you'd know that it was an F40. And I mean, even like this strut brace here, it's just, it's just exactly like it were on my model. I suppose we might as well have a look under the front as well, haven't we? <laughs> There's nothing there. I love the Italianness of it. It's just, right, I don't know, we need to waterproof it. Let's just spray it in rubber or whatever that is. Just everything's so functional. They're not going for like a quality finish. It's just all bare. It's just what can we do to keep all that weight down using all this carbon Kevlar? Just... You couldn't get away with building a car like this now. There's just too many safety restrictions like crumple zones and, and things like that. So you'll, there'll never be another F40. So now I'm going to sit where every 80 school kid dreamt of sitting. Driver seat of an F40. Oof, it's not the easiest thing to get in. Oh. Been waiting 25 years to sit here. Just speechless. Actually being in an F40's driver's seat. It's it's even so stripped out, look, there's that's your door handle, a wire, and nice windy windows. That's what you get for your near million pounds. But hopefully I'm gonna get a quick ride in it now. Are we uh alright to go for a ride? Come on, let's do it. Yeah? Are you... Are you driving? What? You drive. <laughs> You're in the driving seat now. Belt up, John T. Seriously? Like a million pounds, these things. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. I'm about to drive a Ferrari F40. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, this is the worrying bit where I stall it. Funny driving position. Actually, just through these gates and then we're on the road in an F40. <laughs> Oh, this overrun, we're only doing 20, in fact it doesn't even say what speed we're doing yet. Speedo starts at 30. <laughs> Must remember, avoid second, because we're still cold. You never go for second in a Ferrari when it's cold. It won't happen. Oh, I'm just on tender hooks because I know that when them turbos kick in, everything just goes mad. Currently on no boost. I don't know if I dare go for it. Do I try boost? Starting to get some now. I think turbos are in, but... Oh my God! Jesus! <laughs> Christ! <laughs> that's ridiculous! That's, that's quarter! 
water throttle. That's ridiculous. One cent turbo's coming. Right, so let's uh, run it through a few gears. it is and everything's just you can feel everything that's going off through the steering and people always described it as like a go-kart for the road and it is it really is the feeling just being here in an f40 i mean actually behind the wheel this is just one of the things i've waited my entire life to be able to do it's, it's unbelievable well, I'm just on a nice open country road cruising in an F40 just behind the wheel in my ultimate dream car listen to this listen to this it sounds so good when you accelerate it and then you lift off and oh Jesus I can't put too many miles on this car because it's currently got 6,770 kilometres on the clock. It's a really low mileage example, so this is... I feel like I'm harming the value by driving it. It's, it's like if there's a holy grail of cars to drive, this has got to be it, surely. I don't think it matters what age you are. The F40 is the... It's the one car that everybody's got to love it. I, I, I can't imagine anyone ever disliking an F40. It's just, it's just so mad. Right, there's one thing I've always wanted to do. ever expect when anybody ever says don't meet your heroes if your heroes are Ferrari F40 meet them meet them right as with all dreams they must come to an end and I think um, I ought to try and wake up now because uh, I don't want to put too many miles on this amazing car so I'm gonna to have to take it back but at least I can always say I've driven an F40 that's just one of them things that will always stay with me for the rest of my life. That'll be like one of them things that you tell your grandkids about. Oh, you know them F40s? I actually drove one of them. Right, so um, that's driving a Ferrari F40. I've got no idea if anything that I said made sense, but a bit of an unexpected surprise. But that's just, that's just a dream come true for me. Um, I don't think I'll ever top that one. <laughs>